Well guys, we are back in another video here and this video is going to be how to make subs in MLB The Show 22. If you guys are new to the channel, just follow me from MLB. Make sure you do subscribe. More MLB content will be posted throughout the year and I'll be giving tips. I will be showing gameplay, fun, just different series, different just types of challenges, anything like that. I'm super excited to keep posting MLB content to, you know, try to create that variety, all right? So, uh, starting off, well, there's, a, there's a few different ways here, right? So, you know, let's let's be honest, guys. Let, let's do the most obvious one that, you know, is always possible. And the most obvious one, you know, I hate to say it, is, well, just to buy subs straight up with money. And, again, guys, I mean, it's not for everyone. I'll say this, all right? I'll say this. If you're going to buy stubs with money, do not buy packs. That, unless you, I mean, unless you're just, you know, just trying to have fun, just mess around... It's just not smart because realistically, you just want to have the stubs to buy players that you want. There's no reason to buy packs and you can just buy the players that you certainly want. So just remember that as well. Um, but moving on to the next thing, the actual way to make stubs, all right? And really, this is a very, very big way to do it. I know a lot of people do this every year, all right? So what you want to do is you want to go to the marketplace, all right? Go to the MLB players. You want to look at uh, the live series players specifically, okay? The live series players specifically are the ones you really want to look at. But, uh, honestly, the ones that you really want to look at are not even the diamonds. You want to look at, I want to say, the goal players, all right? Mostly the goal players that be could become diamond, okay? So, you know, such as a player like, you know, let's just say, uh, you know, Gosman. It's certainly possible Gosman can turn diamond, right? Gosman had a, just a fantastic year last year. And the Blue Jays and the AL East, though, is a little bit harder, but... Uh, if he does turn diamond, you know, 2,000 stubs, uh, you will be able to make profit on that. One thing I'll say is, I'd probably, before doing this method, I'd probably want to see how the season kind of unfolds. Obviously, opening day uh, is in a couple days here. So, I mean, that'll be really a big indicator of, of, you know, who to probably start stacking up on. You'll really start seeing an idea of, you know, who's playing really well and who's not playing very well. So, that's what I think personally. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I believe that, you know, the live series cards are of great value and uh, you could really get lucky and, and actually make a lot of profit. I know last year of Vlad Guerrero, uh, I believe someone stacked up on him or stocked up on him and I believe they made like, oh, a lot of subs, a lot of subs. Because even with the quick sell, that's another thing you don't even realize. Like from, from an 84 to an 85, the quick sell goes up as well. So uh, you're also instantly making stubs on just that alone. So uh, it, it's certainly great. It's great value, uh, certainly. And uh, I would definitely recommend, you know, doing that. Uh, you know, someone like Correa could certainly turn diamond if he really pops off early for the Twins. Uh, Freddie Peralta is a great pitcher for the Brewers. So that wouldn't be shocking at all either. Um, Rhea Muto, he's always possible. But uh, I, I don't really think maybe... Uh, Lance Lynn's hurt. Alvarez could always be a beast because he's already sick in game with his, his hitting. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's just certainly possible. You got to just really pay attention to who's doing well. And, of course, there's always going to be guys that are, you know, silver as well. that can t They can turn gold, right? Uh, there's a bunch of different players like that. You know, Enrique Hernandez, Kike Hernandez could certainly uh, turn gold. That would not be impossible for sure. Um just depends. Like, Nelson Cruz could easily turn gold. Nelson Cruz, he always has, has pretty consistent seasons. So, Nelson Cruz is certainly a possible one. So, definitely be on the lookout for Nelson Cruz as well to potentially go up. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I, I think that's a very big way to make stubs in this game is to really, you know, buy the guys that might potentially turn. What MLB The Show does is every other week they have a roster update where the overalls are impacted. So, keep that in mind as well. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty... Pretty nice uh, how they do that, and also it gives you an opportunity to, you know, get lucky. And even if you don't necessarily buy these guys, you might just have them in your collection. Uh, I would hold on to some just to make sure that there's a chance they could go up and you could really cash out on some stubs, all right? Uh, moving on to the next method that's also on the market here, and honestly, this is one that was kind of the same as last year, all right? So it's with the equipment, all right? So basically, guys, so you see something like this, right? Uh, the Victus Tatis, right? So this one, you know, it's kind of a bad example, but if you look at just a bunch of different ones here, right? So ones that have like a really, really, uh, you know, I want to say low sell now, you know, you could really, you know, cash out here. So, uh, you know, something like this, even the all-star pro elite, like you could, you could probably, you know, hold on. It, it just, it just depends guys. You know, you gotta, 
try to like buy things and then and then sell them, you know, higher, right? That's kind of like the the main mentality here is to buy them low, sell them higher, okay? So, you know, something like this, you know, there's no sell now at all. So, you know, realistically, if you want to, you can buy this and and really profit and sell it for for more because there's just not up, right? Like like so there's no sell nows at all. So no one's selling them yet. So that's why it's very interesting as well. Uh, but I, I believe these these diamond equipments really can sell for a lot. I sold them myself already. I can show my completed orders here. So I sold a capital M type for twenty two thousand stubs, which is absolutely ridiculous if you think about it. Twenty two thousand stubs for that, which is really wild. They don't sell instantly for sure, but uh, you can definitely sell them uh, over time. They will sell. So. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's pretty wild, you know. I, I, that's how all my subs right now is just from selling the equipment, right? So, you know, it's it's certainly, you know, it takes time for sure, but I believe that it's really worth it. I really do. So, uh, you know, someone like this, right, is $50,000. That's not going to probably sell. Um, just depends, guys. It, it just depends, right? So, uh, you know, you want to just simply, you know, put the sell now uh, for just a little bit cheaper, all right, and then you'll be able to profit, you know, if you have some of these cards as well, you know, I think a lot of people don't realize that these go for a lot, so, you know, that, that would be really, really important to know, so like I said, buy, buy low and you sell higher, that's kind of the method here for sure, and, uh, you know, that's really, that's the biggest thing, it really is the biggest thing, uh, you just buy, buy, buy the guys with low sell now and sell them higher, all right, so low, low sell now, and, uh, you know, you buy and you sell them higher, that's just really what it comes down to, guys, so, like, this bat, you buy it, and you know you'd sell it higher, right? That's kind of the, that's kind of the thing. It just certain things obviously aren't gonna make as much profit, but you know that's why you just kind of like be careful and kind of learn learn the market specifically on how how things go for you know whatever amount they go for, right? But uh, you know that's that's really it though, guys. I mean, stadiums really go, don't go for too much either. Sponsorships not as much either. It's mostly the equipment and the perks because a lot of those can actually be useful for your creative player, which I don't use, but I know some people definitely do. So yeah, I mean the same thing can really apply be applied for players as well. But uh, yeah, I mean that's pretty much it, guys. That's kind of the main ways to make subs right now. That'll be the show. Uh, obviously, there are other ways, and you know they're not too easy. I'd say so. Like ways like this. I mean, there's fifteen hundred playing a hundred innings. You know, not really. Uh, too insane for sure. Um, I believe events you can also get some subs from just doing the yeah exactly. So you know not not a crazy amount though. Twelve fifty, two thousand five hundred and three thousand five hundred. So nothing too absurd for sure when it comes to subs. Um, the program of course there's ways as well. Not a crazy amount of subs though. So like yeah five hundred five hundred five hundred. I mean. Definitely is a way to make subs. I mean, it's doing the face of the franchise program, but it's not going to be a very lucrative way to make subs, certainly. So, I mean, it's just it's added on bonus for just kind of doing the completed uh, uh, program. But nothing too crazy, but, you know, hope I help some of you guys out. You know, I believe if you have a lot of equipment just laying around, you could definitely sell for a nice amount. So if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you do leave a like and subscribe to the channel here. I'm sorry if I kind of explained it poorly, but... I think you guys kind of know what I mean. So if you guys enjoy, make sure you do leave a like, subscribe. If you're new here, follow me on Twitch, Henrique. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrique Three E's. Enjoy Discord. Talk to me. Follow, subscribe to the channel. As always, guys, I'll see you in the next video.